Hey there, my name is Belle and I'm Grace's graphic designer here at The Doer's Way. Today I'm going to be showing you how we create our Facebook covers using Canva. Your cover image is the perfect place to tell your followers slash audience more about your brand and product and take them to the call to action. When you showcase your product or your business in your Facebook cover image, you are planting ideas with your customers that inspire them to engage with you and your business. Are you wondering how other businesses are using Facebook cover images and want to do more with yours? Then stay tuned as I walk you through how to create Facebook covers. There are several different dimensions we can use depending on what kind of Facebook page you're setting up. Yes, each page is slightly different. Your general profile cover photo will be set to 8020 pixels by 360. A Facebook event cover needs to be set at 1980 and 1080. And finally, a Facebook group cover needs to be set at 1640 and 856 pixels. I'm now going to go through our covers and that we have for our three Facebook groups and how you can create something similar yourself. So first, when you start the design, you'll go to create design here and then you add in whatever width and whatever height that you're setting up. So say you're setting up a Facebook cover um, for an event, you would, be, you would do 1980 by 1080 and then create that design. So then it just comes up with a blank template that you can get started on. Now I'm going to go through all of our covers. So here are our covers. So these are just our really, really generic covers um, that we go through and put on all of our Facebook pages. These are branded to the particular group and also branded to our business. We'll start with the doer's way. It's very important to look at the personality of your brand. You can even try mind mapping and coming up with a few different words that describe your brand to start designing. Our brand colours are bold, feminine and confident, modern and empowering. Bringing in shapes and layering them is how we achieve this kind of vibe. Um, And the logo needs to be the most apparent um, section of your cover. So we've used our elements and shapes here and then added in this kind of triangular shape, but aligns to the edge of the page. So we've added two of those um, and made one of them pink and one of them blue, and then just simply added in our logo. This is just a really, really simple way to achieve a really aesthetically pleasing um, Facebook cover without overdoing it. It's really important that it's simple because quite often it can sometimes clash with um, your profile picture as well. Um, Our next one is for the doer's inner circle. So again, this one is really, really simple. The doer's um, inner circle inspires a doing attitude among the ladies. So it was important that this was kind of captured in the imagery. Lessening the opacity has allowed this logo to stand out more. And I've just placed an image into a grid, which you can find here. So you just go grid and then you can place your image in there like that, which which is what I've done. And then I've just gone through and decreased the opacity to 30% so that the logo stands out. So simple but easy to understand for your audience. So not only this, um, sometimes with these covers here, we'll go through and add whatever promotional material we have at the time. So um, these will always take over the covers. So for the moment, we've got our doing files here. So this has been placed in the cover instead of our normal doer's way and doer's inner circle. This is a really good way to just promote your material and it's the first thing that some that the viewer will see when they're coming into your um Facebook page. Now I'm going to talk you through our diamond doers. Our diamond doers are our high-end exclusive doers. Therefore, the colour is modern, bright and light. A little bit moody with a touch of navy as well, which we've got down here. Um, We also use black and white imagery um, to make it appear more expensive with both of our Diamond Doers and Virtual Diamond Doers pages. Simple can often look more luxurious than large amounts of clutter. This one was just a matter of adding colour and then putting the logo over the top. Um, And these gradients were created in InDesign. So unfortunately, this isn't something that you can do in Canva, but it's a really um, great tool to make something appear really luxurious in in InDesign and then applying it to Canva. Um, So simply put, we just put like the image there 
and then we placed a square over the top here and just if you press on that you can see that we've decreased the opacity to 70% and then popped the logo over the top and this is how they appear on our Facebook pages. So just really, really, really simple and then you've got your virtuals here and it gets the point across and it looks really luxurious. Again, you don't have to do anything over complicated. Um, really muted colours quite often look more appealing for Facebook covers just because the Facebook blue is so apparent. So it's important that it's not overbearing and that it looks really simple and really aesthetically pleasing. So in a nutshell, that's how we do our Facebook covers. And yeah, I can't wait to see what yours look like. Thanks for watching. I hope you picked up some cool ideas that you can implement next time you're designing your Facebook covers. I look forward to seeing what you come up with. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment below for more ways that I can help you design for your business.